I want you to watch these cars at the intersection. Kind of dangerous, right? Well, that was with a stop sign. Imagine if one of those stop signs were gone because someone stole it. After a recent outbreak of stolen signs, Dara Roplat, the director of off-campus and commuter services, felt the need to create a sign amnesty program for students at Syracuse University. After this Friday, um, if they are found or anyone is found um, with a street sign, they would not be just let off. They would be given a misdemeanor ticket from the city of Syracuse and also held responsible with the Office of Judicial Affairs. And she says it is mostly students who are stealing the signs. 54 in an earlier roundup and 8 more this week. There's no street sign for Clarendon off of Westcott. I actually had to go down to that set of street signs to figure it out. It's not much of a problem for me, but imagine if you were a firefighter trying to get to the scene of a fire and didn't know where to turn because there was no street sign. I mean, our job, uh, time is of very essence, uh, is, is crucial. You know, it could be a matter of uh, life or death with, with depending on the call. The danger of stealing signs is real, and because the program ended earlier today, those now caught with signs like these and these will be charged with a misdemeanor, or if the damage exceeds $250, students could be charged with a felony. I'm Jacob Dolly, NCC News.